Welcome back, it's Monday, it's absolutely glorious out here. Uh, I've taken to the gazebo in the garden because it is just so hot everywhere. I hope you're having a good day too. Uh, today I want to talk about servicing. Uh, I've done some research into calf servicing in preparation for my Gona Electric and I want to share what I found. Um, car, car servicing. I was expecting to be quite negative towards the main dealers because of the history my Ford Fiesta that I've got, I haven't had it serviced at the main dealer at all since I've had it in five years. And the reason for that is because I've been ripped off over the years, been charged too much, and I don't think um, they've actually done a lot of the things that they were supposed to. So with that sort of history, um, I took my Fiesta to my local garage, had everything done using the right parts and the right service schedule, and I've been extremely happy with doing that. I actually expected to do the same with Makona. Um, because there is so little to actually service, and you're only checking things, and the mechanics on the actual car are so much simpler. I was expecting car servicing to be easier and therefore the local dealer could do it um, a lot better. The, the only doubt would be, are they skilled to do it from say a health and safety point of view um, because of the electrical components? So that was one of my doubts, but as it turns out, no, things are labeled extremely well. You don't have to go anywhere near the dangerous components and uh, they're all bright red or bright yellow or bright orange and uh, it's really obvious what they are. So car garages won't have any problems at all servicing an electrical car and I found exactly that. Uh, I took the service schedule from uh, Hyundai Ionic to my garage, my local garage, and they'd never serviced an electric car before but upon seeing what actually was there their instant response was, yeah, no problem whatsoever we could do that. So servicing your car won't be a problem whether you do it at a main dealer or a garage. I went to my dealership and asked um, if I took it to a local garage would that invalidate the warranty? And the answer is no, just like a nice car, it's absolutely fine. And I asked them what the differences were, um, what wouldn't get done. And the two main things are the software updates wouldn't get done. And um, Hyundai, for example, provide um, free satellite navigation updates as well. So basically the car gets plugged in and all the software and all the updates get performed at that time. What I did ask was, well, okay, aren't I entitled to the software updates if I don't have it serviced with you? And they said, no, 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 you can still bring the car in if you have it serviced elsewhere and we'll perform the software updates for you. Um, and that would be free of charge. So um, interesting. So they include software updates as part of the service, but it's free of charge if you take it elsewhere. So it's just something that you should be entitled to do and get and you're not actually paying for it as part of the service. So it's more of a convenience to get it done at that time while the car is already in. Uh, Hyundai, um, obviously like every other garage, has an hourly rate for their servicing and that's more expensive than your local dealer. Uh, probably twice as expensive or more. Sorry, I said local dealer, your, your local garage. So, um, it is actually cheaper to go to your local garage. But, um, Hyundai as an example, just like most manufacturers, offer a service plan where you prepay in advance. So a prepaid plan with Hyundai for two years, 20,000 miles, is £249. That's only £125 a year. Well, that's not too bad, including VAT, including all parts and labour. That's not bad. Three years is 30,000 miles, £349. So that's only £116 a year, which that's not that big an improvement, only £9 difference. But five years, five years is only £449. So 50,000 miles, five years, £449. That's £85, £86 a year. Well, how does that compare? That compares to my local garage who quoted one hour's labour at £50 plus VAT, that's £60, plus parts. And that's just, you know, screen wash as well will be included um, as a part that you have to pay for. So probably the £85 with Hyundai a year over a five-year plan would work out to be an extremely similar price to using your local garage. Plus you'd get all your software updates done, your navigation would be updated, and they charge your car. Yep, so if you've got a nice car, do you take it in and get a full tank of fuel when, uh, when it's serviced? No. Electric car? Yes, they'll plug it in for you after it's serviced, and uh, so long as the charging bays aren't you know, a queue of them or whatever, or it's busy at the time or faulty, your car will get charged. So that's, that's a nice little feature as well. And I think that's the way it's going to move. There's more convenience. Getting your car serviced isn't going to be about servicing in the future. It's not going to be about them wanting to extract money from you. What they want is you back at the garage for a sales opportunity. They want you to be there to establish that relationship, to maintain that relationship, to keep impressing you. And 
probably lend you out their cars that they want you to buy next time round. And that's the part that probably appeals to me. Um, I'll take the car in, I get a free charge, it gets the service, and at the same time I borrow something else, go out for a day in it, uh, free use of the car basically, and a nice test drive in something a little better, a little bit more luxurious, something that I might well change up to. Hyundai already do annual health checks uh, for the car. So they've already got the opportunity to say that their electric cars don't need servicing. Um, but whilst they're having the checks done, if something does need servicing, we'll uh, either book it in for it or we'll do it there and then, depending on the time available. And you think that would be a better way of doing it, um, a greater emphasis to say that their electric cars don't need servicing. Because they could emphasise that you know 90-95% of what they do in a service is just checking things, and those things are fine anyway under warranty. So you shouldn't be paying for them. You should not be paying for Hyundai to check whether things need fixing under their own warranty. That should be part of the service and that should be free. Um, so I'd like to see that change. I'd like to see the emphasis of servicing change. Cars used to need uh, servicing, components changing, a lot more frequently uh, and a lot more components. And whilst the car was in for the service, they would check whether anything else needed doing at the same time. Now things are very different, aren't they? Because they don't need the things changing. They only need those checks. And then after the checks, if something needs a changing, then they do the service. So it's a complete role reversal now. And I don't think they've quite caught up. They're still lumping electric cars in with the old terms and the old methods of service and getting you in there every year. And they're missing their opportunities um, of converting that time to be a sales opportunity, not a money-grabbing opportunity for an extortionate hourly rate. So, yes, I'm, a, I'm quite negative towards main dealer servicing from the past. I wish they would improve greatly. They've got a huge opportunity to do it with electric cars. But whereas I thought I would be with my Hyundai Kona going to a local garage, I'm now of the mind that I'm actually going to take the five-year servicing plan because it makes sense financially, peace of mind, and to have all the stamps done, say, Hyundai main dealer service. Right, so what actually gets serviced? So on this service sheet that I gave to the garage, um, first year 10,000 miles because it's every 10,000 miles or uh, eight, 12 months they don't actually do anything apart from the checks uh, no components are changed whatsoever and that's the same on year three they don't change and do anything to the car it's just the checks year two 20,000 miles they change the brake fluid and the cabin air filter so that's the pollen filter which you know that bit's okay because well that's not a lot is it so you're probably talking under £30, £35 um, for those components, um, not too expensive, uh, but if you're on the service plan, they're included. Five years, 50,000 miles, you've got the gear reduction oil gets inspected and topped up or replaced, so I, I bet they do a replacement. Uh, but that's five years of servicing, you're talking about two pollen filters, two brake fluid changes and one gear reduction oil change or top up, whichever they do. That's not a lot of servicing, is it, for five years and 50,000 miles. So if you were extremely confident with checking things mechanically, especially the brakes and the wheels and the alignment and those sort of things, then you wouldn't have any need to do car servicing at all. Um, you could save that money yourself. So my recommendation is unless you are skilled at checking the mechanics of a car and can follow their descriptions um, accurately, there's no real advantage of going to your local uh, garage over your dealer on a price-wise unless you're just going to go um, every year on spec and pay the list price and the hourly rate price, in which case, yes, going to your local garage would be more economical. But the five-year plan with Hyundai makes financial sense to me. Um, downside is if I sell the car after three years, I'm not sure what happens to the unused portion of that money I've paid. But yeah, I'm very surprised. I'm very surprised that I'm now quite keen on main dealer servicing with Hyundai for my Kona, and I didn't expect that whatsoever. So that'll do for today. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. If you haven't already, you know, please click the icon here. It's great to see you all subscribing, and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Take care. Bye for now.